Okay, this video is going to discuss the cost, volume, profit uh, relationships. So we're going to calculate break-even point, contribution margin, target profit. Okay, so what you see before you is a picture of my bike, which is made by a company called Specialized. Okay, so we're going to have a couple of uh, assumptions with this example. So the first is the monthly unit sales are going to be 500 bikes. Okay, and we're going to be talking about specialized manufacturing companies selling to bicycle stores that sell specialized products okay so we're going to assume the monthly fixed costs are $125,000 and just FYI the retail price which in this case we don't care about is $1,400 that's way too much to pay for a bike which I bought mine is used for half of that now we're going to assume that the price per bike from specialized to the bike shops is $1,000 and that their variable cost to manufacture the bike is $600. Again, variable cost is direct materials plus direct labor. So the first thing I want to do is calculate my contribution margin to cover fixed expenses on a unit basis. So we want to subtract the variable costs from the price, okay, the specialized sales to bike shops. So that's $400. And now since we're here, we can also calculate the overall net income. Okay, so here we want to take the unit sales times the revenue, okay, and then we just want to calculate. I got it down. So we find that um, our variable costs, our total variable costs are $300,000. Our contribution margin is $200,000. And then our net income, the contribution margin minus fixed costs is $75,000. Now we can calculate the break even point the number of units. So all that is is our fixed cost divided by our contribution margin per unit. So we get 312.5 bikes. So we can't have half a bike. So I'm going to round that up to 313 bikes. Okay. So that means my break-even dollar amounts okay, are the number of bikes the break-even point times the sales revenue per bike. Okay, I can also do that by using the contribution margin ratio. So the CM ratio is calculated first of all by taking the contribution margin and dividing it by the sales price per unit. Okay, so it's 0.4 or 40%. And then, again, the break-even dollars, I can put it over here. Comparison purposes, we take the fixed costs and divide by the ratio. Okay, so again, since I, I rounded up, we have a little bit of a difference. Again, so if you see the ratio, um, divided into the fixed cost. And so I rounded up per bike, okay, and that's why we have a difference of $500, okay? Um, so you can do that both ways. Now, the, the last part of this, we want to calculate target profit, okay? And the way to do that, and let's assume that we want to make $300,000 this particular month, okay? So what we want to do is take the target profit amount and add our fixed cost in and we want to divide by the ratio, okay? And I need to put this in parentheses since we're adding at the top.
And of course, we don't want that in, in a percentage. We want that in a dollar amount. Okay, so we have to sell one million sixty-two thousand five hundred dollars worth of bikes. Okay, and if we did that on the unit level for my profit, I can just take that dollar amount. And buy by my sales, and again I have to sell 1,062.5 bikes. So again, we need to round that up. So I need to sell 1,063 bikes because we can't sell part of a bike. So that's a general overview of CVP. Uh, again, to calculate break-even point, um, contribution margin ratio, and target profit.